Former President, I see you're wearing a different top to what you were wearing yesterday. Are you aware of all the scrutiny that your meetings are, are inducing? No, why, why should there be any scrutiny? I no, suppose no, because uh, you're a former head of state, and so no. your, your vote matters and people are interested in, in your thoughts around the elections? Well, the, 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 the candidate here came to say two things. One, that I must vote. So I've agreed with her that I will, I will vote tomorrow. That was the first message. Second message was that I must vote for her. And I told her that's a secret. <laughs> that's a secret balance. But I'd wish her luck. I'd wish her success. Mm -hmm. Former yes, President? Given the amount of work she's been putting into this. What are you hoping to come out of this local government election? Well, no, I mean, I really do think, I do hope that there will be, uh, all of the registered voters will actually go to vote. It's, it's, it's important uh, so that the, the people of South Africa must give their own view uh, about how they want the municipalities to be, to be governed, uh, who should govern them. And I think it's very, very important that we get uh, a big turnout. Uh, that would be important. I think the, uh, even for the stability of the municipalities, uh, the legitimacy of those who get elected depends in part on the participation of the population in that process. So really, I'm, I'm do, I'm, I am hoping that that will happen. Plus, of course, that uh, I, I met with the IEC yesterday. The chair, the deputy chair, and other members of the IEC came uh, to brief me about the preparations that they'd made uh, for the elections and uh, all sorts of measures that they'd taken. And it seemed to me from, from their report that uh, from that side, uh, the necessary preparations had been made. And, and really, I think now the task remains on us, the voters, to, to do our bit, which is to go to vote tomorrow. Um, and as I say, I will, I will vote uh, tomorrow. And uh, I've, I've had this candidate councillor, uh, and she's explained really the, the very thorough work that she's been doing in this ward, and uh, what, as residents, we should expect uh, when the new Johannesburg government is formed. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, I've wished her, I've wished her luck. Former President, President is, there, is there any particular reason why you're not actively campaigning for the ANC? You know, I'm sure the ANC leadership, here is uh, the regional chair, for instance, I'm quite sure that they are perfectly capable of, of handling this. Uh, plus, I have to be wandering around the continent quite a bit. Even now, last week I was in Tanzania, I wasn't here. Uh, so, uh, no, I think that the, 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 the campaign uh, was, is in quite in, in capable hands. Former President, we, we've uh, heard now that the reason for uh, Mayor Tao's visit here is to introduce you to the, the uh, ward councillor candidates. What would have been the reason for Mr. Deza and Mr. Masina to visit here today? No, as, as Mkoni said, what I, what I was told was that uh, the three uh, ANC mayoral candidates, Johannes Berger, Ruleni, Tswane, uh, would come to see me today to brief me uh, about, uh, about the campaign and, and, and so on. Uh, so I said, fine. Uh, it was perfect, perfectly legitimate. I'm a resident of Houting. Um, and so they thought that it, was, it would be proper. It would be proper for them to come and, and, and say, uh, really to convey, like, like the ward councillor here, the candidate has done, uh, to say, look, this is in this ward. This is the work we're doing. These are the challenges that we faced. This is the kind of population you have here. And, uh, and um, the sort of challenges that have to be met. And so I thought that it was, it was perfectly OK for the these metro candidates to come and, and give that briefing. But as, as Mukwane has just said, unfortunately, the two of them uh, this morning said that uh, they, they have to, uh, both Negrulen and Swani, 
have to attend to some urgent uh, matters because, as you know, there's a cut of date in terms of the campaigning later today, so they had to attend. So I said, no, that's fine. Uh, but parks, parks, parks could come, uh, and did fortunately with, uh, uh, with, the, with the candidate. Former president. Thank you very Former much. Is it, was it in fact a slight that you met with the EFF before meeting with the ANC today? Is it a slight as people want to suggest? No, the, the EFF asked to see me, so I meet anybody who asks. Will you meet Musi? Musi has been, uh, Musi, he has come already. Musi came. Uh, uh, this was. Uh, no. Musi, uh, Musi, my man came. Uh, he asked to come, so I said, fine. The FF asked to come, I said, fine. The mayoral candidate said, want to come, I said, fine. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> no, you can't chase any people advice, away, can you? Any advice to, um, you know, the people who will be running for elections, like candidates, as a very quite esteemed um, administrator yourself? Well, you know, the, uh, <coughs> the, 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 it's always the, the biggest, uh, hardest task in our system of government is at the local level, it's at the municipal level. Because parks has got to be interacting with the population all the time. And whatever happens, if there's no electricity, there's no water, there's no house and so on, is the first point of call. Uh, so you, you do need uh, counselors who really understand that they uh, they really have to be committed to this thing of serving the people. Uh, so th this is all I would say, is that whoever is a candidate, they really must understand that in the end, when they get elected, they will represent the people in their constituencies, in their wards and so on, and the task is really to serve the people, not themselves. It's critically important, otherwise, if, if this uh, level sphere of government doesn't work, it impacts entire, on the entirety of the government system. So it's really very, very important that we should have councillors elected who, who are committed to that, who are here to serve the people, and that is all.